My friends, last Sunday, if you recall, we, ha we have seen Jesus sending his disciples in twos to proclaim the gospel to others. And today, the, the disciples are returning back from their missionary journey. The amazing part of today's gospel is Jesus' attitude. Jesus sees his disciples returning back from the mission, but he did not ask them a question, but he says, go to a lonely place and rest a while. Jesus does not ask, Peter, tell me, John, tell me, how was your missionary activity? But rather, he invites them to go on a lonely place and rest a while. In doing so, Jesus is teaching us one of the important lessons of our lives, that is to rest, to take a break, to pause, and reflect our own life and examine our own life. Jesus does not compliment them or ask questions to his disciples who are just returning back from the mission, but rather shows concern about their physical and interior tiredness. Jesus is telling each and every one of us today to take a break, rest from our busy lives from our busy schedules. Jesus is telling us to unplug ourselves from the things that keep us busy, from the things that keep us occupied. How do we unplug ourselves from our busy world? Simply by taking a break, remaining in silence and solitude, and spending, and spending some time with the Lord in prayer. Jesus, during his public ministry, he never neglected the crowd, but he always and every time withdrew himself and spent some time in prayer and intimacy with our Father. So my friends, let us put a halt to our busy schedules, to our busy agendas. Let us learn how to take a break, turn off from all our distractions, turn off from our mobile phones, and spend some time with the Lord in dialogue with God. Having said about taking rest, taking a break, in the second part of the gospel we see Jesus and his disciples could not rest. They could not take a break as they wanted. The people found them, they flocked to them from all the sides. At that point, Jesus was moved with compassion. This is the second important lesson the gospel teaching us today, to show compassion. How many times have we come across the word compassion in the gospel or in the Bible? Many times. Jesus always showed compassion to his people. Jesus always showed compassion to us. Compassion is born from contemplation. Compassion is born from con con contemplation. If you are compassionate, you will be able to be contemplative. If you take a good rest, keep ourselves in silence and solitude and spend some time in prayer, we'll be able to show compassion to others. We'll be able to be compassionate people. Compassion is a language of God. Compassion is not showing pity, but getting involved in people's struggle and knowing people's situations. It is like looking through a lens of a heart. In the same way, Jesus in today's gospel showed compassion to the people because he saw the people to the lens of his own heart, that they were sheep without a shepherd. So my friends, let us pray for the grace of rest, silence, prayer, and contemplation, so that like Mary, our mother, 
who always moved with tender compassion for us and for the people. We may, we may too move with tender compassion and love for others, especially for those who are struggling in their lives. <laughs>